Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another good day in the neighborhood. How you doing back there, John? I can't even hear you. Your mic is off. So, okay, yeah, I got the wrong mic. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, push three instead of four. <laughs> well, it is such a good day today. We had all that nice rain and everything, and today is kind of nice and cool. Makes you want to go home and take a nap. So today we're going to have some fun up here. We're getting ready to turn out the Flaming Pit Show. <laughs> I have my friend Caesar in here from Caesar's Flowers. What's the name of your shop, Caesar? Um, Caesar's Creative Design. All right, I'll, I'll, I call it everything. Flowers by Caesar. Everything Caesar's Flowers. It's <laughs> all right. We want to say the right name. Creative Flowers by Caesar. Is that it? Caesar's Creative Design. See, I can <laughs> Caesar's Creative Design. Okay, I'm glad he knows the name of the shop because I guess I don't. <laughs> So now, what's been up, dude? Because, you know, I've been, people always say to me, they pass your bill, your old bill, and they're like, where's Caesar? Where's Caesar? You know, he, the, the place is shut down. Tell everybody what's going on. Give us an update. We are under renovations. We bought a building at G1213 North Ballinger Highway, right across the street from Plum Smith Funeral Home, Kitty Corner from McDonald's. It's, uh, it used to be the old Michigan Orthopedic. Oh, okay. Now, it's also right by the Sitco gas station. Is that funeral home still open? Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I never see any bodies there. Oh, that's what they do. I never see any bodies there. Yeah, it's, 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 it's personal. <laughs> but, you know, there's like one, one family. Oh, it's just one family? One family, um, like one family funeral. Mm, okay. So it's real personal. If you want something personal, that's a good place to go. No. If you, if, if you just want your family there, I mean, or friends. I don't, <laughs> don't want to go, thank you. I'm not ready to go yet. <laughs> so now tell us about the new building because I've been there and it's huge compared to what you left. Uh, yeah. We had a 900 square footage next door to King Arthur's Pasties. Uh, we decided to go under the 3,300 square footage. We will be doing our flower shop, and then we'll have our bridal, and then our women boutique coming there. That's going to be called the Peacock Strut. Peacock Strut. Yes. For the women's side of it. For the women's side of mm -hmm. it. And then we have uh, Noel Therapeutic Massage Room going in the back. Mm. And then we have a kitchenette where we're going to start doing our catering. Wow. And then we also got Taste Bud Cakes there. Oh, it's going to be like one stop. I can go get a dress. I can get a cake. I can get a massage, and I can get flowers. You sure can. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> you going to fill them three thousand square feet up. It's full already. <laughs> we have a beautiful, um, the showcase for our boutique is nice. We also have a, um, a uh, I want to say like a lobby room for the dressing room so mm -hmm. your whole bridal party can come there and it's personal. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be looking at all the customers that's coming in and out, you know. Okay. Really personal. Well, you know, that building is kind of, strange because it opens in the back and when I tell people where it is they never think to look at that you know we all pass it because I, I was like what building you're like you know the building I'm like there's not a building there <laughs> I have to tell people the building that's covered up. The building is backwards, you know. It is backwards. It's backwards, and I, I guess that's because you got to bring people in. You know, you got to park in there. Well, once, once we open up our windows in the front, because we do have windows coming in the front. Mm -hmm. Once we get, you know, like all the renovations done, I think we'll be able to see. It. We'll be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah, people have notice it more. Exactly, because you know we're doing the blueprints. It's like you know what, this store is backwards. It's backwards. <laughs> You right. need something to draw people to it because it's so, the, and you got to paint it because yeah. the color just blends well, I mean, in. Well, I think we'll, once we get our signs up, we got neon signs, um, lights coming, we mm -hmm. might have even a, we're trying to work up on that flat screen TV sign. Yeah. <laughs> get one of those signs. That right. Yeah, exactly. And then once we put our windows in the front, um, do our showcases like we had before, mm -hmm. I think everybody noticed, oh, that's where he moved. Yeah, in. yeah, because that's what we need because you can't put your showcase in the back of the building. It just well, won't be right now, You know, we have wires hanging down everywhere, and I'm like, man, I really don't want nobody to come in here and get choked by one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And I'm clumsy. I'd be in there home. <laughs> Caesar, <laughs> help me, help me. So, yeah, we knocked down 18 rooms, three floors. Uh, we had carpet, two commercial floors. Um, it was a mess. But, mm. but we're almost there. Now, you, you were going to put in some lovely black floors. Did you get those in yet? No, we got white and black floors. Checkerboard. Checkerboard. Oh, my goodness. 
So now what else is going on that uh, people might need to know? When do you think we're going to be ready for a grand opening? Uh, we're probably looking at about three weeks. And we're gonna once you see the windows go up, the signs go up, the big white tent, because we're going to party. We worked our butts off this time. That's around. what I'm saying. Yeah, we, we really worked our butts off. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did... Um, we saved some good chunk of money, and I says, you know what? And we did a lot of it ourselves, so it's right. like everything is really customized mm-hmm. to what we really wanted, you know. So I think that within the next couple of weeks, um, we got some nice features in there, really nice fe- coolers with the water fountain, mm-hmm. the tablet, marble countertops. What? And so we really. I can't wait to see you open that up. <laughs> I watch you work, and I come in, you covered in. <laughs> at the toe. I'm like, where is this at? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I've been working, been trying to save that money. Well, that'll do it if you do a lot of it yourself, and then you get some good construction people to come in and help, and nobody's gonna like come in and rip you off and stuff. You'd have to put your foot in them. You got that right. <laughs> And I'm on top of them, especially when it comes to my money. Right, right. <laughs> so anyway, but we're still doing flowers. We're still doing funeral work, parties, and gatherings and stuff. And everybody calls me on my cell phone at 810-449-0698. That's where you can call me at. Um, and we take care of your needs still. Yeah. Now, what about the other people that are, well, taste buds coming in? Um, what kind of area is he going to have and like will you be actually baking from there or no actually he's bringing his stuff already baked in mm-hmm. all we're doing is setting up him an area with the cases and he's just going to go in and set up he's going to have today. like display we're having the display no we're also going to be selling that the gourmet chocolates there mm-hmm. so he makes gourmet chocolates and the uh, chocolate covered strawberries oh he does that we do all that stuff there oh, okay so all that stuff is going to be shipped in daily fresh mm-hmm. so that way we can that way your gourmet chocolates don't have to be like oh you know only for the holidays oh okay you know people call me like what do i buy somebody for their birthday you know, I don't want to send them flowers. I right. don't want to send them, hey, gourmet chocolates. Mm-hmm. That and, always does it. And I've seen the, the some of the strawberries. They're so big. It's just ridiculous big. And they're covered with all different kinds of chocolate and toffee and peace and all that kind of stuff. And he's going to have stuff like that. I sure am. So everything's going to be to order, not pre-made. So yeah, it's be, pre-made. And we're gonna, mm-hmm. Right, you can go in there and just say, hey, I need a uh, dozen of chocolate covered strawberries or the chocolate purses that he makes with the chocolate shoes or all that stuff's going to be done on a regular basis. Chocolate purses? Yeah. Get out right of here. Them. I haven't seen any of those. Yeah, that sounds kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything you want to do. <laughs> with the chocolate. <laughs> with the chocolate. <laughs> a chocolate purse. Chocolate out of a purse. Right. Hey, my 60th birthday is coming up. He makes those. And I'll the shoes. Mm-mm-mm. The white chocolate shoes. Oh, I might have so, to get something like that just because. Just because. I don't eat chocolate, but I think it would be cute to have. You know what? And, and it lasts a long time. You don't have to necessarily eat it. What am I going to do with it? You can can I put it, it in the freezer? You can leave it outside. You can leave it on top of your, your one of your counters or on top of your... It's not going to melt? No. What kind of chocolate don't melt? It, this one Stay all kind? This one does. <laughs> I, I mean, you can hit your stand over the head with this. <laughs> Now, what about uh, the massage side of it? What's going on with uh, that? Corey's got his own room back there. We built him a half a circle room. Mm-hmm. And um, he's going to be in there doing his massages. So, feel free to call in on him at uh, 810-875-8674. And that's uh, Corey uh, Noel Therapeutic Massages. Um, he does great work, too. So, he's got his own room there. Mm-hmm. And um, he's going to have his own waiting room. Right. Oh, well, that's... That building is going to be full. The building is full. <laughs> you know, and we, we try to carry a lot of uh, organic things because we're into that. So, mm-hmm. you know, like your teas, your herbals, and your soaps, and all that kind of stuff. So, we got a lot of stuff going on. Now, you still sell the perfumes and the oils and the stuff. The oils, like that. the perfumes. Yep. You got right. the big hats. The shea butter. Oh, and the big hats. And I'm doing a big fashion show in November the... I'll get back with you on 16 or 17 mm-hmm. down at the um, Grand Blank area. Mm-hmm. And I have to design 30 hats. Uh-oh. 
So we're in the hat. We're in the hat business <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> you just name it and see just don't have it. <laughs> yeah, right, so that's what we've been doing too. A lady came to me and I said, hey, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, I think that will be fun. Now, are, are the hats going to be, you going to auction any of them, or are they going to be for sale, or are you just mind them to show they, people? They will probably be for sale. I mean, they'll be, hey, they're always for sale. Exactly. They're always going to do that money. So. <laughs> Put a price at them, and they're yours. Yes, and they're yours. And uh, we designed quite a bit of stuff. Actually, one of my hats was in a fashion show down in Atlanta on Mother's Day. The ones that you showed me that you were working on? Yes. Did you ship that? Yeah. She moved down there, and she was in the fashion show, one of my clients. And uh, she won first place mm. for one of my hats. Get out of here. So we're going to put Flint on the map again in Atlanta. And, and plus, you know, when, you, when stuff like that happens, you should have a picture. Yeah, she's going to send me one, and then we're going to put it on my Facebook. My Facebook is really behind. And put, yeah, yeah. Because you really have it. I can never see that. But really I mean, you can have it in the shop, too, because if, if people want to see the work that you do, you know, like, here's the start. Exactly. And then when you have your show, you know. And, and, and it's weird because that's just something that she just had me to do. A client came in and says, hey, can you design a hat for me? Just came in and threw me on her scraps on top of the table, and we put it together. You did a hat. We did a hat. Mm, mm, mm. But I've seen you in action uh, working up flower bouquets. I mean, I watched you do one about 10 minutes. And I was just, he was just talking and stripping. And I was just like, look at it go. You know, you started with two stems. Next thing you know, you got the thing done. And I was wrapped in cellophane. Come on, Lisa, let's go. <laughs> I was like, man, this boy's good. <laughs> he did that so fast. I, and it was just beautiful. It's like, you. it just popped it, popped it together. Just. There's all those kind of things that just sort of float around in your head and you just be like, yeah, you know what, been doing it for 14 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, since I was 14, I should say. And I'm almost hitting that 40. So oh, I'm to tell you. Yeah, you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my age. The flowers. <laughs> when you're 40, I'm just getting started. Oh, my goodness. I remember the days of 40. I, yeah, I remember 40. Yeah, just, 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 just <laughs> that started. was just 20 years ago. <laughs> you just getting started. Now how time flies when you're having fun. When you're having fun. So now, if, if someone just wanted to come in and learn the flowers, you ever do any apprenticeships? No, you know what? We, we might get into that. We don't know yet because with everything else going on, it's like... You're going to need some help, though. Oh, we're going to get some help. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it all. The right. business has grown tremendously. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, with our, um, for the brides out there, our gowns are from David Katera. Mm -hmm. So that's who we're carrying our collection from. Now, is that from Noah Road, David? Or who, no, who that's David's from? bridal. Oh, those are different people. Yeah, David Katera is the guy that comes on TV and does all those weddings. and all, Now he's got his own bridal collection. Oh, okay. And so many people can only carry their gowns. Mm. So, so you're going to have the high-end <laughs> you got the high end bridal. Now, you're going to have all kind of formal attires, not just bridal. Oh, not, not just bridal, not just formal. We're going for the everyday everyday look. The boutique, you know, the woman always wants to look nice when she steps yeah. out. And you got to have some earrings, you know. Oh, we're going to have some earrings. we got tons of jewelry already coming in. Mm -hmm. um, different miscellaneous stuff. Tons the, of miscellaneous yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's Spires, my thing, the earrings, the yeah. You know, not just your women church hats or... I know. Everybody uh, can't wear them church hats. No, they can't. But I like the jewelry. I like the the necklaces. I, I still haven't worn my brown pearls yet. <laughs> I got to find a reason. <laughs> I got to find a reason. Hey, right, yeah, come on in because we're carrying a lot of different things. A lot of different things. Mm -hmm. We're excited. I'm excited to see it because I've been watching the progress and then I can't ever catch up with you because I'm always like texting, okay, where are you? I'm on the run, huh? <laughs> Gee, I didn't get to see the store today. No, because you know what? I'm doing parties and it's party season, open house season, um, birthday parties. You know, a lot of people are turning 90. That's a blessing. Yeah. And, you know, and for once I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I'm not just doing funeral work. Right. You know, so, funeral be a doubter. <laughs> so, you know, so that's what we've been doing. We've been keeping busy. So, between getting the business done and taking care of my clients, I got to rip and run. Mm, mm, mm. As I said, people, the best way to call me is on my cell phone. Yeah. That's the best way. 
So you just run in. If somebody needs flowers, you can just run into the shop and hook them up and then you're off again. And I'm off again. Because really, you don't have it set up yet where you can just be in the office during the day. No, not really. Not right now. We're almost there to that extreme. My office is still getting put together too as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we're down to the last um, countertops, coolers, my office. I told him just do the office last. I want everything else done first. Work out the van. Work out <laughs> on the car. <laughs> on the car. We're in the car. Right. Do it. Well, to go. Hey, you can do a pop up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I to go by season. <laughs> you know, and then because that building was so long, we even thought about a drive through. Yeah. You know, flowers drive through. You, you actually that could do it the side window. Could. Yeah, on that side. Because when people come that. up that driveway, they could just come right up that side and go on down the other way. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking about. Since so it's backwards or like, Hmm. That would be funny because nobody else has one. No, I thought about that. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, put a little window there and they call up and say, hey, I forgot my wife's birthday. You have something together for me and. I'm going to drive through. Slap it through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I love drive-throughs. I'll put a gourmet box of chocolates with that, you know. Yeah, I mean, it would be easy because you may not have any parking space, you know, after it gets so busy, you know, it'd be easy to drive through. Drive through when you don't have, out. Yeah, you don't have parking because I'd rather drive through sometime than have to get out and go in and search and do all that. You know, sometimes you just want to quick through. That's a great idea. I want to run the drive through. Welcome to Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not that kind of drive. Because <laughs> you know, I said, I said, you know what? I said, I said that'd be kind of awesome. But you know, I gotta ask, you know, what people think and this and that mm -hmm. and the other. So, you well, know. you can you should do your survey on on Facebook or do a paper survey uh, to hand out to people with their orders. Have a little survey, mm -hmm. and uh, then they can like email you back or call you back or whatever and say what they think about a drive through. Yeah, because I thought about that, too. I was like, wow, that would be kind of neat. Kinda it would. Different. You would be the only one with it. Yeah, kind of neat and kind of different, and everybody uh, can run through there, because I know everybody, especially the men, they're always running. Mm -hmm. Always mm -hmm. got to go, go, go. Well, a lot of people just don't have the time to, because sometimes I go places, and I wish there was a drive through because sometimes I just don't want to get out the car. I need to go, but I don't want to get out the car to go in the store. And yeah. if I could just pull up and tell you where I was. <laughs> Rock it up and have it at the door. Right, just have it ready. Okay, I want so and so. I was just in there, and this is what I want. Have it ready. I got the card yeah. in my hand. And, and we're going to be carrying there too. Um, let everybody know we're going to carry a lot of tropicals this time around. Tropicals, what? Flowers. Real tropical flowers, like Real that. Real tropical flowers, like all of your orchids, your birds of paradise, your gingers. Mm -hmm. um, those type of flowers, flowers that come in from Hawaii. You know, I get tired of looking at carnations and roses. I know. I don't like roses. I, I like carnations, but when you start talking about really fragrant flowers, because those that I had gotten from you from another event, they, that smell lasted a long time. Those were the Orient... No, those were your stargazers. I don't know, but they smell so good. I could just walk through the house and smell them. And I was like, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you know I'm cheap. <laughs> When I, when I buy flowers, I just be like, mm, you know, cheap. It had to be a special occasion for me right. to, you know, order flowers from a florist. But when I got those, you know, just like a, a little gift, I thought, wow, those smell so good. I might have to save my pop bottles and buy me some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stargazers always smells good. Stargazers, oriental lilies, those are your fragrance flowers. Mm -hmm. You know, everything else, like your mums, chrysanthemums, those are like your... Fillers. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never been a rose person. I, I've seen some really pretty ones, especially when they dye them all different colors, but they don't last long. Mm -mm. And I, I just, you know, to me, people get, you know, all five to a dozen. Tropicals last forever. I mean, they last like two to three weeks. Well, that's what I like because... But they don't have no fragrance. Well, they can be pretty. That's that's it. That's basically what I get them for. <laughs> <laughs> they can put on the table, yeah, you know. Because I'm telling you, they are, uh, the tropicals are beautiful. And to be honest with you, if these guys turn your tropicals upside down, they're even prettier. Just dried. Oh, you mean like just hang them upside down, let them dry? They, they, they keep their colors, and I don't know what it is about tropicals. They they just keep their colors as natural as possible. Mm. Now, what's, what's, the, what's the law for shipping stuff like that from Hawaii and places like that? Don't they have to be sprayed or something? Because well, Hawaii is considered the United States, so they don't care. 
Oh, yeah, it is. Bahamas is too. Bahamas is part of the United States as far as. Virgin Islands. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I've never been there. I've never been there. So that's, I mean, that's, um, this shit, that stuff there. I mean, but when you're talking anything from like Colombia or, you know, oh, they have to go through those boxes. Yeah, no, like the Colombian orchids, like from that movie Colombiano. Orchids. Yeah, the orchids. The, yeah, so that's, that's what I would be afraid of bringing in bugs and you know you look up and got a scorpion in your box or something you know but well, if it's just coming from Hawaii uh, you get stuff from the Virgin Islands yeah. oh okay we so they that. know you down there so they know me in Hawaii Virgin Islands Florida is one of my biggest ones too mm-hmm. but you know they have to go through to customs and that's where it gets pricey, but us, we don't have to. We buy it within the United States. Oh, okay. And how long does it take us? How do they keep them fresh? 24 hours is shipping to my store. Get out. They I, fly them in. They fly them in. And they don't come out wilted and all that? None of that. Well, how, what do they store them in? Just boxes. They don't have to put like a They put a piece of plastic around them and they ship them to us. That's it. Wow. I thought they would have to do a lot of prep work. No. Dry ice or something to keep them no, fresh. None of that. What they do is they cut the flower just before it gets ready to bloom. Mm-hmm. And then they cut it straight across, wrap them up, ship them to you. Our job is to uh, put them in the chemicals and make them pop open mm. for my clients. And that's what we do. And now, what is the truth about cutting them at an angle or cutting them underwater? Like some people say, when you put them in, well, you cut them, you cut them at an angle because that's what sucks up the water mm-hmm. through the stem. If you cut them straight across, the water don't go nowhere; it just sits there. I don't understand. It's the same stem because the stem is you cutting it straight across, so the water can't the the flower can't suck up no water. But if you cut it at an angle, you got the water going through the angles of the stem going up. And it opens up your flowers. If you say so. <laughs> I, I always cut them at an angle just because it's cute. I know. No, you cut them at an angle because that's what sucks up. And if you put your food, your for your food for your flowers and stuff, it'll mm-hmm. grow your flowers and make them last longer. Because they put those little packs in there and I always. Now, when you get those little packs, are you supposed to use the whole pack or yeah. you use part of it? Because it seems no, like it's a lot. Pack. The whole pack. <laughs> and it's just like. You know, some of the stores, you might only get like four or five stems, and they put a whole pack. So I always wonder, do I use the whole pack? I, ha- I always pack. have packs around them. the house. It's not going to hurt them. Because I didn't know how much to put but in there. They last for a long time. Like I said, carnations, chrysanthemums, those are your flowers that will last forever. It's like you can't even kill them, no matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs> and if you kill, you better. <laughs> well, I think I, mine last until they just pretty much shrivel up. I cut them and cut the stem. You know, they get soggy at the bottom. Then I cut and them again. and move down. Yeah, yeah. And pretty soon they just shrivel up and die. Yeah. Good. And after that, I got my money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I hold it three dollars worth. <laughs> yeah, I hold three dollars worth of flowers. I got my money's worth. Yeah, you did really good by then. Mm-hmm. That's, you you got your money's worth. Wow. But I can't wait for the uh for the grand opening. Um, we are going to party that whole weekend. The whole weekend. The whole weekend. I've worked hard. <laughs> what kind of thing you think you're gonna have? You wanna do a masquerade? We're gonna do something. I think masquerade would be funny. Yeah, because I'm gonna get a tent, a DJ, dance floor. We're going to party because I have worked my butt off on this one. <laughs> I said, you know, I thought it was just going to be like for, oh, what have you done in a month? And what have we did? It's been going on and on. I know, because when you first got over there, you was like, three weeks, we'll be done. And it's been oh, long. Yeah. And then here comes something else. And yeah. I, I think what it is, because I want so much. Yeah, that's what it is. You know? Because you were just, like, I got to have this, this, and this. Oh, that's going to take a week to order this. I'm like, well, three weeks, <laughs> right now, right now. Yeah, I think because I want so much in there. And I said, we do it right the first time. We don't have to go back and do it again. That's the main thing because yeah. you only want to spend that kind of money once. Once. And, and if it takes a little longer to get so it done right. It'll be it. It'll be well worth it. It'll be well worth it. I'm excited because everything's really modern up to date. Yeah. Have a little bit of vintage taste to it, you know, mm-hmm. but... My floors look Art Deco. They're beautiful. I love them. I love checkerboard. Yeah. Then they always have like a splash of red in there somewhere, but I know you're not going to have any red. No, I want purple. I know. <laughs> That's my color. That's my color. You touch a touch of purple in there. Yeah. That's my colors. Mm-hmm. The black, the white with a touch of purple. Touch of purple. 
So yeah, it, it, the way it's uh, sectioned off, and now you got the big old chandelier and the curved front desk, and I, you know, it's just like. Wow. I had a friend come in and says, oh, you're, trying, you're getting that Liberace chance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need you a baby piano. You'd be That's good to have baby grand piano in there. Mm -hmm. Can't play a lick. But. Well, the water fountain and the cooler is going to be really nice. Well, you know, and that's what's taking us a long time, too, because we did a curved cooler with the water fountains coming off there. You got your, your three doors in the middle. You open them up, and it's like going into a fantasy island flower shop. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, a lot of major features. I can't wait because I know it's going to be on. At least everybody know where you are. Now, what are you going to do for the front sign? Because we got that old sign. You oh, that's coming down. down. Yeah, we're going to revamp it. Come down. We took our other signs off the other, uh, the other store because mm -hmm. those were expensive. People, eighteen hundred dollars. I can't cough up another time. Let me just. <laughs> so hose them down, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I said we're gonna. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna hose them down, put mm -hmm. them up, and I said because I can't spend no more money. Well, after I the first year, <laughs> right? After the first year, you know, you make all them hundreds of thousands of dollars. You be able to get one of those electronic ones that flash and drive people crazy. Hey, you know what? We thought about that right now because he was like, "Why don't we just go for the gusto?" I said, "We don't have gusto money." Right now. <laughs> well, they have smaller ones because that's all you would need right there is a smaller right. one because the ones like a little bit are gigantic. Those things drive well, you know, crazy. That's what he was talking about. He said, "Why don't you just put a big old giant no. on top of yours, on top of your?" <laughs> <head."> <laughs> Like, you mean wow. like, uh, put a put a disco ball up there and stare at me like Caesar? That's too much. I said no. I said you know what? We'll keep. Well, they got the smaller ones because Bubba O'Malley's has a smaller one, and Do then they? yeah, it flashes. Then it's got a scroll bar at the bottom. So I think that would be a good size. You know what? I thought about one of those from top of the sign. You know, putting it on top. So yeah, but well, you know, one of the restaurants down on Saginaw just added the little scroll bar to their sign, and it was just enough. To like they put across the hours and you know that kind of stuff and that would be good because you already have the sign up and then you can just put that on the bottom right. and, they, and it would show the hours and you know whatever you want them to program well, you know what I want everybody to know that taste bud is going to be there mm -hmm. um, he's going to have a section and also um, the massage the massage I want everybody to know that about Corey and uh, also um, uh, also, the boutique, the peacock struts. I want them to know that that's going to be there too. Well, you know, we're a big sign for all that. So, I mean, you know, so if we keep something swirling all the way around, people will understand why we're yeah. doing what we're doing. We can get a big ass banner to cover the whole building. Oh God, uh, yeah, we can do that too. <laughs> we're wrapping all the way, way around. <laughs> up. And then we're also going to get with the VSA, um, very special arts. Mm -hmm. um, we we did some things with um, Pamela Hawkins. Mm -hmm. And um, we did some things with them, and we have the needy kids coming out there too. They're going to make us some uh, fencing. Oh, okay. So that's a project that they want to do before summer's over with, and for about a month, thirty days. So and that's going to be if they do fencing, you're going to cover up the gas station next door, or right inside the gas station. Oh, you know what? I, I want to do a mural right there alongside too. So mm -hmm. well, we have some local artists. That's what I want to. I'm going to find. I'm going to try to find some local artists. Hey, give me a call. Yeah. So we can work something out and uh, get that mural going. Mm -hmm. I want to see one of the guys just on Facebook said, "Okay, I'm getting ready to start doing murals. Who need one?" And he donated that picture out here for us. Really? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can hook you up with him. Yeah, really I know for sure good. he does murals. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to get local people involved because we do have talent in town. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just about the crimes. I mean, there is people that has talent and let's use them. Right, right. Let's come together. Yeah, because it, it, it's a lot of different things like that. Art, artists and they're going to be doing an event coming up over at the machine shop, the second annual, I think third annual, whatever. But you see some of the artwork they do over there. It's just amazing. And they did the art walk, you know, downtown recently. Um, you probably could get any of them to come in and, you know, give you quotes on mural. No, I think that's going to be awesome. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for coming in today and uh, letting everybody know the update of, say the name of the business. Caesar's Creative Designs. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get it right. <laughs> Caesars Creative Design, CaesarsFlowers dot com, because our website is still going okay. strongly. And he, his new location is 
G1213, North Ballinger Highway, Flint, Michigan, 48503, right next door to Sicko Gas Station, mm -hmm. on the corner of Devonshire and Ballinger. Yeah. That's where I'll be located at. It's the backwards building. <laughs> it's the backwards building. But once we get our windows in the front, you'll understand it. Right, right. Um, so make sure everybody, um, you know, stay tuned because when he get ready to have the big party, I'll drag him back on here again to make the announcement. And um, we're just going to turn it out for Caesar's creative design. Designs. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I want to call it Flowers by Caesar. Right. You know, for some reason, I don't know. I guess I like that name better because that's who the flowers are by. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for taking the time yeah. because I know you've been, his phone's been hitting buzzes, about to buzz right off the table. People <laughs> study calling him. But um, next week, where everybody tune in, um, Ms. Valessa Booker from the Flint Club is going to come in, and that that's a new. Uh, entity that I had never heard of, but I was able to do my guest bartending over at the table and tap through that club. So she's going to come in next week and tell us about the Flint Club. So in saying that, everybody uh, come back and see me next week. Uh, same place, same time. It's Flaming Pit, and we're out. <laughs>